Kiro, Amazon's new AI for coding. I got free access immediately, but when I checked again today, it was locked. Now let's run it for free. Bismillah rahman rahim Installation is simple like any software really and straightforward. Download the app from Kiro, which by the way, if you try to do now, you get redirected to the waitlist. I went with the Mac version, install it, sign in. Let's go through the options, choose our theme. Ah, my eyes. Maybe keep it dark. Set up shell so we can run it from the terminal. Skip the rest and we're in. First off the user interface, I kind of like it. It looks nice so far. Click on the ghost icon, start a project to use Kiro. Now for the fun part, we have two options, vibe coding and spec. I guess the cool part about Kiro is something they're calling spec and hook. It really helps you plan and design your apps in a solid way, almost like a proper dev team. So of course, we're gonna go with vibe coding. Hey, I'm an ethical hacker and I want you to build a program that looks up the latest CVEs and summarizes the information for me in a nice dark themed UI that is short and concise. Make the UI light, simple and sleek. Use NIST as the source of references and information. Let's run it and see how it does. It's processing our request, creating a few files and let's see how it performs. This page looks pretty solid. We have days back all the way to 30. You can sort our filter for the results. I like the cards here too with the different colors. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is a good one. It's a critical and a 10. So let's click on that, see where it takes us. It does take us to the NIST website and it's an accurate result of 10 critical. So that's, that's pretty solid, I'm liking that. Well, there you have it. We did it all without ever writing a single line of code. Overall, I'd give the tool a 7 out of 10 so far. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And hey, have a good one.